Greetings and welcome back to my channel. It is I, Erin, and today I've put together a little bronzy look. I used a bunch of new ColourPop eyeshadows. Please do not look too closely at my liner. I had a really hard time with it today. <laughs> and so the sun is just making it really hard to see out over underexposed. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I got a huge package from ColourPop that I bought myself because I love ColourPop and they got me with all the freebies. Um, so if you buy, I guess, four or more pressed eyeshadows, don't quote me on that, they give you a little ColourPop customizable palette. So it's like that. And I've heard you can pop this um, silver part out and then it's all magnet, but I haven't done that. I kind of wanted to use it as like a little travel palette for if I'm traveling and I just want to be able to do a neutral eye or something like that. Um, so for today's look, I used several different ColourPop shadows. I used Note to Self, which everybody knows I already have that one, so that's really pretty. In the crease as my transition shade, I used Paper Tiger, which looks a lot more mustardy yellow, bright yellow on the um, website, but it's actually really pretty up oh, can you tell? Really pretty um, sort of light transition shade. So put that in there. And then I also used Cloud 9, which I thought was purple, but it's really just like super dark matte black. And then the other shade I'm having in this palette is going to be Firefly, just for that um, light color to start with, but I did not use that today. Then um, for the rest of my eye, I used several of my other ColourPop shadows, the foiled ones. You'll see which one's in the video and I'll link it down below. Um, so if you want to see how I got this cutesy, everyday, rose gold bronzy look, then just keep on watching. And start by priming the lids. And for that, I got my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out on my hand. And we're just gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend that foundation across the eyelid. For our eyes, then we're gonna set them with our airspun powder. Let's use this Morphe E25. And just press that on. And I'm gonna start out with this little mini palette that I made myself. I'm gonna start um, with this kind of yellowy um, nude matte, neutral matte shade. I think that's Paper Tiger, the color shade. And we're gonna pop this right in the crease as a transition shade. Maybe a totally different look than I was planning. Too late. Doing it now. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'll link the names at the end because I cannot get them out of this palette to check. So we're just gonna go a little bit lower on the crease. Really not gonna do a brown look right now. I'm doing it, I guess. <laughs> Too late now, homie. Too late now. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna start with Millie, which was a free shadow I got. ColourPop always gives you with the free stuff. They're like, hey, if you do these three things, you get this for free. And of course, you want that free item. <sighs> so they get me every time. Now I'm just gonna go into this really pretty foiled eyeshadow with my finger. I'm gonna pop that all over the lid. I might have to change my outfit now that I'm doing this look. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. So next we're gonna go in with Come and Get It, which has a really cool like gold pink duochrome. I'm gonna go ahead and use another finger and pat that right in the center of the lid. And then last but not least, we're gonna go in with this guy, which is a Morphe color called Lustrous. I'm gonna use my pinky. So I can get that right there. And I'm not gonna blend that to the sides at all. Just right in the center. Like that. Pretty. Okay. 
Um, I'm thinking my outfit will work. I just need to change my jewelry because I've got all silver on and I think, and like hot pink. So I'm planning on doing a pink and blue look, but I guess that did not happen. So it's coming off. I might go in with Paper Tiger. I really like that. Okay, so let's do that on a little uh, Morphe E32 brush. We're just going to go dip straight in, get it on the very end, not anywhere else on the brush, just the end. And we will do this. If you hear a little bell, that's my kitty. Kind of. Follow me on Instagram, and that's it. I am a pluralist, just like my YouTube, and you can see pictures of him and my other babies. All right, changed out my jewelry, got my rose gold stuff on now, feeling a lot more to put together, and we're about done with the eye look, so let's go ahead and prime the face. We're gonna use our Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Okay, um, looks like my dog stopped barking, so that's a plus. We're gonna go in with our NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. And let's see what we can do today. That's about good as it's gonna be, okay? I know it's not perfect. Look at that little bump, I hate it. But if I keep playing with it, it's just gonna get worse. <laughs> We're going with that, okay. Time for mascara. I guess we'll do my chicken today. Volume Noir mascara. You got to me. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let me skill it. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna spot conceal the foundation, and we'll do a little bit of powder and some bronzer and stuff. So we're not gonna do a full face foundation. Let's just go ahead in with a little all nighter foundation from Urban Decay. Damp Beauty Blender. We're just gonna cover up. Cool. And then with a big powder brush, we'll use my icing powder brush. Go ahead and powder the whole face. Ew, hair in my mouth. Then with the Tarte um, Unicorn Brush, I'm just gonna brush off any excess. Okay. Cool, there we go. All right, um, let's see. To warm up the complexion, Lord help us the dogs. Pivot Baked Bronzer from Makeup Revolution in Golden Days. Now we're gonna do that on this Wet n Wild powder brush. Boop. And we're just gonna bronze everywhere. <laughs> to be honest. I'm gonna go on this little badger brush from Morphe. Just a little badger Morphe. Morphe brush. I'm gonna take this. Oh god, you can't even see it. This shade right here. Also, did that move. Use that to blend out the top also a little bit. And on the chin. Looking fleshy blushy. Okay. That looks good. And then for a highlight, we're gonna go subtle. Just kidding. JK. Okay, fine. We're going with our highlight palette and we're going to do um, just the peach, I think, is fine. Let's do that on this Morphe powder brush as per usual. I'm going to take this off so it can be like right up in there. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Okay, um, let's finish the eyes real quick. I don't have any lower lash mascara on, so I'm gonna go in with our Makeup Forever Excessive Lash and just do that on the lower lash line. Here's a little tiny brush when you need one. Haha, <laughs> I got it, clean one. Okay, so this is an angled brush, so we're gonna just make it work. right in the tear duct. Okay, just like that. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, we also want that on the brow bone, so let's do the brows first. Spoolie the bitches. Is my brow gel. Got it. I think my face actually turned out pretty great for not wearing any foundation. Good job, Erin. Okay. Nyx brow gel or brow mascara in black. Do it. Let's get that highlight right on top there. Tweeze that a little bit. Let me get that in there. Tweezers in the bathroom, of course. Nose glow. Cupid's bow, so we don't look out. Okay. We're gonna go in with the nectar from NYX, which is a liner, lip liner. H dub lip cream in the color Nudista right in the center and pat it out. That worked really well. Holy moly. Alright, cool. That worked. Alright, let me go get some finishing touches and I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is the final look that I've come up with, a really simple, bronzy, um, nude, sparkly-ish, not sparkly, maybe like foiled eye, goes with my rose gold joy, I've been doing swatches, as you know, and um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a double thumbs up, check out my channel, subscribe if you want, I would love it, and I'll see you guys on my next video, bye guys!